Hello, everyone. I'm Yushan Zheng. I'm from Unomia BPF. I'm excited to talk about BPF time, a use based eBPF runtime for network and observability. You may remember BPF time from last year's Linux Plumber. Uh, we've made a lot of progress since then. So, what's BPF time? It's a use-based eBPF runtime that supports tracing features like UProp and USGD and Cisco trace points, and even network features like FDP or EU-based. It can support more than 10 types of maps and 30 types of helpers, so it's highly compatible with kernel eBPF ecosystem. And you can also use your family way to develop and deploy eBPF programs in your space. eBPF can run alongside with, BPTAM can run alongside with kernel eBPF using kernel eBPF maps and working together with kernel eBPF events like KPROP. You can now use in every eBPF which, or, which is already used by eBPF for Windows or a new eBPF virtual machine called LLVM BPF as is virtual machine for execution. You can find a link to BPF time here. So why do we want to observability with eBPF in your space? It's simple. Your space tracing can be faster and more flexible. For example, your props in kernel takes about 1,000 nanoseconds, but in your space, we roll that down to about 100 nanoseconds. Similarly, memory access in your space is about uh, 4 nanoseconds and about 40 nanoseconds in, kern in kernel. This space speed difference happens because the kernel often has to translate memory address or run some additional checks to assess your space memory. On top of, of that, there's less overhead on untraced process, especially when dealing with Cisco trace points. So, and also, what can be run in your space um, with your space tracing? Tools like BCC and BPF trace can run completely in your space where kernel eBPF is not available, like old version or unprivileged containers. And you can run more complex observability agents that can combine props and your props improving performance by shifting part of the workload to your space. <laughs> now let's talk about BPF time in the network context. Why we can use your space eBPF instead of running eBPF in kernel? We've seen kernel bypass solutions like DPDK and AFXDP. They can offer faster Packet processing by bypassing the kernel, but with BPF time, you can combine the performance benefit of this kernel bypass technologies with the extensive eBPF ecosystem. So you get the best of both, like low latency packet processing and ability to use eBPF safety and existing eco tools. We can also use LVM optimizations to further improve the performance in your space. <laughs> Why we need BPF time? We already have eBPF with DPDK support, but the DPDK support is, has no eBPF maps and helper supports. There is no control plan application with the eBPF for DPDK, and we can with use the faster and more optimization with LLVM. Just before time, you can seamlessly integrate the eBPF LDT ecosystem into kernel bypass application. For instance, solution like Catron, a high performance load balancer can benefit from the optimization we've made in BPF time for use space. <laughs> you can also run the your LDP eBPF programs as if they were in kernel, just slot them with BPF time and they will look like, work like normal kernel eBPF programs where you can start another eBPF, another DPDK application handling the network process. BPF time can work with both 
AF activity and PPK. Right now, there's some limitations with uh, <laughs> time network in use space because we only support ATP tier and ATP drop. Um, we are actively working on solutions and exploring ways like to re-inject packets into a kernel to support ATP pass. One of the core features that allow BPFM to remain compatibility with compatible with existing eBPF ecosystem is its control plan support for use-based eBPF. Control plan in eBPF are usually responsible for tasks like loading and unloading program, configuring maps, and provide monitoring and debug interfaces. BPFM can support this in your space by hooking syscalls using LD preload or kernel EPFI modules, and we can connect the control plan application to the your space EPFI runtime with shared memory maps or shared memory controls. Now let's see the performance bench benchmarks. We can see there's AFX DP deployment and DPK deployment. In your space, we can compare them with with LDP in kernel. Um, we've benchmarked a variety of eBPI programs running with BPFPAM. BPFPAM can achieve up to three times faster performance in simple LDP network functions. And in real-world applications like Catra, BPFPAM can achieve up to 40% faster. The link is below for the experiment. This shows that use based eBPF can be faster with kernel beta solutions while retaining the flexibility that makes eBPF powerful. And originally, LVM BPF was part of the BPF time report, but we've now separated it into a standalone, standalone project. LVM BPF is a VBPF virtual machine and compare tools specific specifically optimized for use space. We test it with BPF conformance with compatibility, and you can see that in CI, it can have better performance, and we can easily experiment different optimizations, such as inline helpers. The LVM BPF also supports both keep and help time compilation, depends on where you need. It's an easy to use library like the UBPF. LVM BPF also supports like we can build the eBPF programs into a sterile binaries where you can call the eBPF modules like a simple C code and use the eBPF bytecode here as an error for verification. And maps and helpers are also supported in these cases. Um, in these cases, you you can make it very easy to deploy them because you don't need any external dependencies. This can make it easier to deploy eBPF programs on any machine, including embedded systems and microcontrollers, which often don't have the OS or runtime support for eBPF. Um, in conclusion, BPF time are more than just a use space tracing and network framework, we hope it can bring the power of eBPF ecosystem into your space without com compromising the speed of flexibility. Uh, I recommend all of you to explore BPF time for your chasing and network needs. And uh, also special thanks for Professor Marius from Imperial College London and thanks for your time. Feel free to check out the reports for on GitHub or ask me any questions.